In seven years of conflict in northeastern Nigeria, over 20,000 people have been killed and almost 2 million displaced. In Konduga, local government area of Borno State, the European Union's civil protection and humanitarian aid operations, ECHO, through its partners Christian Aid, is providing immediate assistance to cover the basic needs of those internally displaced and their host communities. Christian Aid works in more than 30 countries and has been operating in Nigeria since 2003. The Nigeria Country Program focuses on community health and HIV, accountable governance, humanitarian response, and gender equity. The Christian Aid Humanitarian Response Program, funded to the tune of over 1.7 million euros by the European Commission's Humanitarian Office, has reached more than 5,000 households in 13 communities targeting more than 40,000 people affected by the humanitarian conflict in Konduga area within Borno State. We started working with ECHO um, sometime in July 2016, um, and the initial contract was for a six-month period to provide life-saving assistance uh, to uh, displaced people in Konduga local government of Borno State. Um, and uh, by virtue of that contract, we are currently providing um, life-saving food, security and livelihood support, as well as water, sanitation and hygiene to over 30,000 people in Konduga local government area of Borno State. Since August 2017, the food security response targeted 18,000 people through unconditional e-cash vouchers ranging between 17,000 and 34,000 Naira to provide immediate food assistance with cash support intervention reaching thousands of households in Galtimari, Jakana North, Jakana South, Mushimari A and Mushimari B. Under the WASH project, Christian Aid has helped to improve access to water sources through construction of boreholes and rehabilitation of water points in several communities, including Mushimari A, Mushimari B, Salari, Kalari Abule, Fulatari, and Fanamari. In Mushimari A in Konduga, 410 households are receiving cash for food assistance in the community. Nine hand pump boreholes have been constructed here, and 24 latrines and showers have been also been erected. Structed under a cabo for under our new Dolano and Drum Chinto, Lenny and Recaro, Awandia Cabananian, a massacre of Roder Mamandes under Tak Razana Kahalin and Winishin, a Macama under Lazanadem, Kajun the Panyan, Nada, Nada, Lenny, Dungu, and Ida, I'm letting it down Jida Kudin, Kerma under Hotna, taking a Kajid Panyan. Echo, the Christian Echo, Chad, Samo, Halayan, Karala, so Halas, Wayne Gero. Andir bana sana sero askrenya sero gorenya na eko da krise ek wohala chani samakara kamune dunia duso kara wohala yendo na kasala ison samma andir bana sana sero gorenya na eko in collaboration with community members who play a key role in identifying vulnerable members have recruited and trained 130 volunteers to support the communities by organizing awareness sessions to demonstrate the importance of personal and environmental hygiene practices. A beneficiary who lives in Galtimari with her surviving children recognizes the vital effect of the humanitarian assistance on the community. <laughs> The intervention has addressed the escalating needs of vulnerable persons, enabling the women to cater to the needs of their households. As a means of improving the situation of the most vulnerable victims of the conflict, Konduga IDPs have also benefited from a timely supply of non-food items and hygiene kits including mats, jerry cans, sanitary pads, detergents, kettles, blankets, water purifying tablets, 
cups, soaps, cutleries, mosquito nets, and pots. Until the eco-funded intervention began, much of Konduga had access to only dysfunctional water points, leaving residents vulnerable to disease. In addition to the provision of portable water, sanitation facilities have also been constructed. With the support of the uh, European Commission, so we have been implementing an integrated response in all these locations. Our, our response was focusing on uh, food security and livelihood, water sanitation and hygiene. And mainstreaming of protection has been an emphasis of uh, Christian aid programs across uh, our response in Bono. Mun gode sosai wannan abin da mun samu a wajen ku nan ni inda nake gani ya fi abinci ya fi kudi dan rayuwa ya fi komai in rayuwanka bai yi kyau ba ba zai zama komunka ba zai zama kyau ba in kana da abinci kana da kudi a wannan ma wajenka da dotti yaranka dotti gurinka dotti ko kudi da abinci na ba zai maka komai ba ko zaka bari zaka mutu ko in kana nan ma ko in magani ma dan saboda dotti na in baka rabu ba ba zai maka amfani ba yanzu mun gode mun gode mun gode sosai duk abin da kuka ba mu wannan mun yi sosai before when christian aid did not come to our flight our children would go out around the street and beg to pit some of our people's their fathers and mothers now the food security has stretched our life none of our children are on street begging they are all back to school so it has even encouraged to enroll people their children to school before they think education is taboo but flood of the christian eye at us expanded their knowledge education is the best thing for their children now all of their children are in school i am grateful for it we are very much grateful thank you ensure that most of our beneficiaries are women and we engage women and vulnerable children from the communities as our priority targets we have ensured that community is getting full opportunity for participating effectively in the response the whole program is being led by the community and they are the one who are deciding what kind of intervention they need for the community and who who should be implemented the programs and how they are going to monitor the activities and uh, if you look at uh, some of the transparency measures that we had uh, uh, we have a transparency board that has been uh, uh, that is in place in all the communities which basically talks about what kind of uh, project uh, what kind of intervention that we are going to have for the community and how what is the budget that we have been uh, looking at for the community so this uh, transparency uh, trans ensuring transparency is a way of uh, making sure the community is being empowered and they have the right to ask questions to the program with implementing agencies so this, we are looking at a human rights based approach for emergency response Disasters and conflicts have severe psychosocial consequences. The emotional wounds may be less visible than the physical losses, but it often takes far longer to recover from emotional impact than to overcome material losses. Christian Aid integrates psychosocial activities in its humanitarian response programs, helping beneficiaries to cope better and become reconciled to everyday life. The European Commission has continued to back Christian aid to provide immediate assistance to cover the basic needs of those internally displaced. The response has yielded positive results as help continues to find the most vulnerable persons in accessible areas. As the security situation improves, new areas are becoming accessible and new dimensions of need and hope emerge. Christian Aid intends to strategically reach out to partners to mitigate the escalating needs of millions of people displaced by conflict who need humanitarian assistance in North East Nigeria. <laughs>